Shalom Israel, it's your boy New Breed Coming through with another video And as you can see, I'm doing videos a lot more frequent now And it's because the struggles and battles that we face They everyday struggles, you know And plus the devil, that greasy, slimy bastard He don't take no days off, so Gotta put in that work, straight up but this video here is one of those motivational talks. This is definitely a motivational talk. As you look around the conscious community, you'll see lots of videos that is talking about energy and frequencies, positive versus negative and things of that nature. But in this video, I'm gonna really get into the dynamics of energy and how positive en energy and surrounding yourself with positive energy is absolutely imperative for our growth and development. So let's get into it. First and foremost, y'all got to understand that 99% of your own problems in your life are your fault. That's right. 99% of things that go wrong in your life are your fault. And this is a key component, a key understanding to regulating energy around you. Because what you got to realize is that anytime negative energy comes your way, you had to open the door for it. So the way it works is that we're at an even kill. We're balanced. Every human being has negative and positive components that come with them. It is our choice whether we surround ourselves with positive energy or negative energy or what side that we fuel more. You got to understand that. I like to refer to the Holy Bible when it talks about the battle with the flesh, spirit versus flesh, so on and so forth. It's the same thing with energy. It's the same Ideology is the same belief Positive energy You have to surround yourself with positive people People who are like-minded When you're dealing with people who Go against Your positive side It's going to fuel negativity It's going to have you battle with yourself So it's important first and foremost To surround yourself with people who speak life and you yourself must understand the importance of speaking life into existence. Your words are very powerful. The scriptures say life and death lie in the power of the tongue. That means the words that come out of your mouth is going to affect everything. It's going to affect every component of your life. The words that come out of your mouth So you gotta speak life Positive affirmation Has to be done daily You have to speak things into existence It's okay to talk to yourself if you need to Tell yourself positive things When you rise in the morning In order to surround yourself with positive energy In order to be successful in life You have to completely crush negativity now, how do you do so? I know a lot of people get caught up in their emotions regarding certain people. Um, some people find it very difficult to cut tides with people. Rule number one is that you have to be, you have to do what's best for you. You have to do what's best for you. Regardless of what's going on, if somebody is causing any kind of friction within your spirit, you have to absolutely delete the problem. You have to get rid of it. You have to get that person out of your life. You can't engage with that person because if they lower your frequency, you'll begin to feed the negative side even more. Now, when you look at society as a whole, negativity is being promoted more than positive energy. Negative vibrations are being promoted more than positivity. Low frequencies, carnal behavior, you're getting hit with a barrage of carnalities everywhere you turn. So, in the times we're living in, it's becoming more difficult than ever 
to actually see things from a positive aspect. Because you turn on the television, you're seeing violence, lots of violence, lots of rumors, lots of gossiping shows, reality TV shows, which is the furthest thing from reality. All of these carnal things feed people's negative sides. So it's very difficult in these times to be positive and have positive energy around you. So you got to be careful of what you feed yourself. It's the same laws regarding spirituality. Whatever you feed yourself is what you're going to get out. Just like the human body. Whatever you eat, you know, that's pretty much what you're going to get out. And, you know, as far as your physical health. But with your spiritual health, whatever you feed yourself is what you're going to get out. If you're watching things that are positive, motivational, encouraging, then you'll begin to possess these qualities. Because... It's entering your brain. It's entering your psyche. It's going into your conscious. Listening to positive things while you're falling asleep. These things help your consciousness react on a more healthy level. Positive things, people transforming their lives. Good stories of people overcoming trials and tribulations that they're facing. When you're going through things in life, it's important to hear advice from somebody who's overcame those situations because that would, in terms, give you positive energy as well. So when you're talking about the dynamics of positive versus negative energy, let's talk now about the outcome of positive and negative energy. The outcome of doing these things, these these uh this advice that i put forth what's going to happen is success in your life what's going to happen is things are going to be put into full perspective the most high god the creator will be able to work with you on a higher level because you're susceptible to positive affirmation you'll begin to Surround yourself with people who are like-minded beings who can help you reach your goals and you can help them vice versa And you end up successful in life and One one man's level of success may be different from the next So when we talk about being successful, we're not always talking about having earthly riches Having money and what the world deems is successful when we say successful it could be any type of, I would say, trial that you face that you want to overcome and you finally get there and you're level headed and you're conscious and you're alive and you're healthy, that's success. Not what man's idea of success is, but you'll get success if you surround yourself with positive energy. Now, the end game for negative energy, you're going to be stagnant. You're going to be one of those people who live in the past, one of those people who are full of resentment, one of those people who have issues with everyone around them, one of these people who become gossipers, always got the next person name in their mouth, it's worried about what the next person doing, keeping your eyes on people who are positive and successful. You're watching them climb the ladder. You're watching them become special people and, and live their lives to the fullest potential of what life should be all while you're sitting there full of envy and jealousy and hatred negative energy every time you come around somebody is you it's it's nothing but negative things coming out of your mouth and basically you're going to be stuck right where you at so this is so important to surround yourself with positivity, positive energy, speak life into existence, do your thing, feed your spirit with positive energy, feed your thing, feed your spirit with positivity, ladies and gentlemen. Listen to positive music. You know, if you get stuck into the ratchetness, you're gonna end up in the ratchetness. So that's my advice for the day. More videos coming. 
Make sure you hit that like button. Thank you for subscribing. Shalom and peace.